Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Native Bomb. I haven't put up a video in a while, and I've seen some of y'all's inbox questions. Some of y'all have asked what I know about the motocross world, the scene. So I figured I'd show y'all, uh, make a quick video of my room, what it, my setup looks like, and uh, show y'all some of my prized possessions with the, the whole motocross crap. So, if we can get my buddy can uh, zoom in. <laughs> oh, my shit. Over here, you got one of my oldest hobbies. It was actually probably one of my funnest hobbies. I gotta kind of block out some of these. Some of you guys can't see. Um, yours truly six pounds. We used to be on a semi-pro paintball team, so there's kind of like some pictures and stuff of that. Um, I am going to uh, school to be a graphic design artist. Um, this is one of my abstract paintings I had to do. Can you see that? Can you get that? Uh, yeah, got you it. Got that? Mm -hmm. you got that? Yeah, that's one of my abstract faces. It's pretty cool. Might be famous one day. Um, let's go over here first. First we got, let's talk some motocross. Uh, y'all might know who this is, Kyle Cunningham. Uh, 250 rider. Uh, this was his actually uh, last year worn race jersey. I uh, actually went to Anaheim this year and he gave that to me. Can you see the signature? Make sure that's authentic, get that in there. Yeah. You know? Let me zoom in on it. Yeah, that is a, you know, legit sign, Kyle Cunningham. Then we've got some dungy posters, some more dungy posters. Now this one right here, I mean you guys can probably already, you know, see what that is. I mean by the guess of it, you know, that's your uh, JS7 answer, San Manuel Yamaha. And that is the, let me, let me zoom in on that real quick, that is a sign Stewart, so uh, eight thoughts. What do you know about that? You might be able to see that in November in person, you might get to touch it. <laughs> Feel it on your face. So yeah, there is, and that was, um, you know, the uh, breast cancer race jersey from uh, Anaheim 2, I believe. Uh, what else do we got to show? Yeah, there's more dungy. You can kind of do a quick look over here. 32 inch Astro headsets. Lots of controllers. Ooh, these are good. We've got dollars. Now, I have a few more of these, but me and uh, Execute and Six Pounds, we have a little kind of like an inside joke thing going. We do dollar bets and you have to sign the dollar away. So this one actually came from Execute. It was a bet on Tiger Woods. I, had, I haven't played Tiger Woods in like a year and he said it, a dollar bet says you can't shoot it less than a 60. I think I actually shot like a 52 or something like that. Yeah, it's complete horseshit. Um, we got another one. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is for, but something with bowling. Ah, and this one, uh, six pounds. He thought he could uh, drop a 30 bomb in a T, uh, is that team, yeah, team deathmatch with a shotgun only. He didn't do that, so uh, he had to give me a dollar. That's those. So signed, of course. Signed. We have an old Copenhagen can because I can't dip no more. I quit. I'm a quitter. Um, you got your My Mac, some stuff I do some work on every now and then. Doc Pepper can. What's that shit hanging from your fucking... Oh, uh, that's a bra I got in Vegas for my 21st birthday. Yeah, we all know about that. It's A cup, so it fits me perfect. <laughs> what else do we have to show off? Um, huge OU thing. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, we got this one. Now, this is probably my most prized possession at all my motocross stuff. This is um, another James Stewart signed jersey that he gave me. It's kind of signed with the white markers, so it's a little harder to see. It's authentic. It's got the legit JS7 wear on it. And that's that. Now, these are the cool part about this. Uh, Dallas Supercross. Um, I actually don't like touching these. I'm about to get a box for them. But I uh, won, a, won a contest. Uh, bigger, The biggest banner contest. I'll actually show you all one of the banners that I made to get that pink one behind you all. Um, I made a banner. Uh, I was, was kind of a joke with the uh, with his crew at the whenever I was waiting in line to show him. I told the guy I was like, you know, the banner's over 100 feet, and the guy was like, well, our sim, our rig is 90 feet long, so we'll see if it's that big. And sure enough, it like passed it by like at least 10, 20 feet. Actually, executed uh, was one of the 10 people to help hold it. Yeah, I can vouch for that one. It was a now, pain in the ass. These are a signed James Stewart set of goggles. I doubt you're gonna be able to get those. Actually, I know you're not going to be able to get those because these were actually uh, race goggles. The only reason I know that is because when I gave him the uh, the banner, whenever he gave me these goggles, I put them around my neck trying to roll the banner back up, and I got James Stewart man sweat on my neck. So how many of you guys can say that? 
Yeah, since he is a uh, James Stewart fanboy at the max. Oh, for sure. J- for jerks sure. off to James Stewart on a daily basis. Yes, sir. <laughs> Constantly. And then you got number seven number plate. Got to have that next to it. And then, last thing I can guess I can really show off, you know, Brian Deegan, Metal Militia Badass, ripping up a golf course while the golfers are kind of like, what the fuck? And, uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up my room, guys. So, uh, hope you all enjoy.